Oh, the cord! <laughs> wow, they used rule of 5-6. Okay, let me explain what the rule of 5-6 is. So in Korea, the most popular boyfriend style is this gu and gu look. So maybe Boy Next Door took inspiration from that, I guess? Hey there, it's Gamsung Sound. Today, we're gonna dive into Boy Next Door's brand new title called Earth, Wind and Fire. What? I'm not the only one who thought about the Earth, Wind and Fire, right? Anyways, as fans probably know, this mini album, How, is the last story in their First Love trilogy. It started with the debut single, Who, which captured the excitement of First Love, and then followed by the album, Why, talking about the pain of a breaking up. And now, this album, How, tells the story in between. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I like this melody. Maybe it's the chorus part, right? Fire. Mm. Mm. First one. Oh, I like this house beat. Oh, I like this transition. Wow. Okay. First two. Oh, yeah, I like their tradition. Wow. Very simple, but like, yeah, I like it. Building up. Yes. Fire. Oh, it's very king. Oh, the cord. <laughs> Wait, wow, they used rule of 5-6. Okay, let me explain what the rule of 5-6 is. It's a, a common technique found in many hit songs. Typically, the chorus part is about 8 bars long, right? And then the first 4 bars often form one set of theme, right? So simply repeating same theme for another 4 bars can be really boring, right? So in the 5th and 6th bar, they introduce a variation that has been heard before, right? And sometimes it can go really crazy. And then in the 7th and 8th bar, it returns to the original theme. Like in Mamamas, Gogo -Go Bebe used this technique too. Actually, this rule is widely used in many his songs. Anyways, yeah, let's go back to the song. Maybe it's the hook part? Oh, it's very uh, hyper pop sound. Mm. Breaking. Mm. Typical 808 sound in second verse. Mm. Oh, I like the rhythm variation here. Dun, 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 Wow, judge club suddenly, wow. And then pre-chorus. Building up. Fire! Oh, I like this hook. Oh, I like this chord progression, yeah. They use really good a rule of 5 6. Wow, I like it. Mm. Bridge with uh, synth wave sound. 80s you know, synth wave sound. Third part. It's very good, okay, right? I really like this um, hyper pop sound. Mm. 
Wow, it's very hooking. The title track Earth, Wind and Fire aims to express swirling, stormy emotion of love that cannot be controlled like nature, you know. To vividly bring this swirling emotion to life, this album was styled in kitschcore. Kitschcore is a blend of kitsch, which means a natural charm, and normcore, which aims for being normal, but it's anything but ordinary. So there's a term in Korea called gu an gu. It's abbreviation, which means dressed but undressed. It looks like you've made an effort, but also like you haven't. You know naturally stylish, you know. So in Korea, the most popular boyfriend style is this gu an gu look. So maybe boy next door took inspiration from that, I guess. Well, anyways, personally, I find that the combination of kitschcore style with the hyper pop genre, it seems like the perfect concept, you know, especially for K-pop, right? And there's some good news for both fans and producers. First for fans, Boy Next Door's Comeback Live will be broadcast on their official YouTube channel. So don't miss it out, okay? And for producers, our producing team has worked on tracks in this kind of house beat style with synth bass, and we'll be giving away the project and multifiles too for free. So check the comments below so it can really help you in creating tracks in K-pop style. Anyways, that's it for the video. Please leave a comment what was your one pick song of this album. Thank you for watching. Bye!